Hey, happy Monday, everybody. Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good morning to you. Good afternoon if you're watching this later in the day. Now, not only do we have those big storms that hit the West Coast and went across the Ohio Valley yesterday, we have them going to the Northeast, and as well as this big system that's going to accumulate over the Southeast. If you remember about a week ago, maybe a little bit longer, I showed you how that hurricane in the Pacific, the Hurricane Rick, is going to go across Mexico, go into Texas, get together with this low pressure system, and possibly form a low pressure over Florida. Now, it's not going directly over Florida, but it is going to stay in the Southeast for quite some time, bringing very much damage in winds before going to northeast towards them as well. And the nor'easter is going on for the northeast. It's not bringing snowfall, maybe northern Vermont a little bit, but it is going to bring a lot of damage in winds and heavy rainfall still. So after the system goes up the east coast and goes towards the northeast, and it's called double shotgun. You'll have two low pressure systems fighting for that energy. It will be over the northeast for quite some time, dropping a lot of rainfall and winds and we're talking about 24 hours then this is going to accumulate over to the south and go over to the southeast with this very big system that we need to worry about next if you've never been here before hello my name is mark i do upload every single day just not friday from sundown to sundown saturday that's sabbath i will make sure everything is covered before a sabbath starts so make sure you hit that subscribe button because i am all year along and hit that bell so you know when my videos do go out all I ask is if you know somebody that's in these impacts, please share the information that I show you. That way they can be alerted to what is coming. The best thing we can do for any kind of severe weather is prepare. Now, yesterday it got pretty crazy. A lot of power outages, not only for the Ohio Valley, but it got really bad for the West Coast. And Washington, you got up to almost 180,000 without power. California, 175,000. Then Oregon with 25,000. But today it's a lot better. Still having issues, but you just notice everybody's power has kind of come back. California is still with the biggest problems, over 109,000. Washington, you're still at 40 plus thousand. But Illinois, Missouri, Michigan, five to 10,000. Y'all were a little bit worse. They got your power back pretty quickly. Now, if you've never been here before, this link's always in all of my videos. And if you just click on your state, you'll see exactly what county has the power outages how many, and you can see if you go further down who's working on your power and it updates every 10 minutes. So if the county next to you is getting power, you will probably be next. Now National Hurricane Center has raised this up to 40% now within the next five days for what's gonna form off the Northeast. It's gonna be front induced low pressure system that could strengthen up to a tropical storm on its way out. But in the meantime, it will be bringing a lot of effects to the Northeast. And quick update on the tropics, NOAA is still seeing somewhere between October 27th and November 2nd that we still have a development of a tropical cyclone, tropical depression, or greater strength in the Caribbean, also above Puerto Rico, but the one above Puerto Rico like last time is moving to the east. And you can see right here on November 1st that it's pretty much going to form up right below Jamaica. And it still has a chance to either go north or go south to the southwest. And it's still showing both directions. So which way this storm is going to go when it does form is still up in the air. A lot of ensembles show it could bring the energy to Central America and be a Pacific problem. But we still have that chance. We had 15 tornadoes, guys. And a couple of them was above Kansas City. But the majority of them was in Missouri right below St. Louis. And these are pictures from Charles Peak. All these things I'm about to show you, links are in the description so you can go watch these videos and see this information for yourself. But the tornado damage that came yesterday, especially through Missouri, was very strong. It was a lot of damage in a lot of different locations. And Purden, Missouri had a lot of damages from Live Storms Media. Also in the description, this shows the tornado, how large it was as it was passing through the town. It was a very big tornado and a lot of it was rain wrapped it was very hard to see and by severe studios showing you that it was in a lot different areas as well now this tornado threat is going to be for today and tomorrow as well as including wednesday and possibly thursday as this big system goes to the southeast it will be a big storm but links in the description so you can go watch this video so you can see all the damage that was taking place missouri really got hit hard now, in times of all this severe weather, you really need somebody that live streams for you, give you all the alerts of what you need to know, and somebody that really knows what they're talking about. This is Nate Snyder. I always promote him on my channel. He is the best at what he does, and he is young. A very smart kid. Matter of fact, if you see the other people that do live streams, they're just for entertainment. 
purposes. They don't even really know how to read a lot of this information, nevertheless let you know what's going on. If you go check their channels in their earlier videos, you'll see that they had a disclaimer up in the beginning of their video saying it was entertainment purposes only, but their views went down, so they took them out. These people don't know what they're talking about. They're just entertainment. They want to ooh and ah you. This guy will keep you safe. Please go check out Nate Snyder. His link is in my description. Go subscribe to him. He was the only one live streaming those tornadoes last night, and he did a great job. Go thank this guy. He's young. He don't need to be doing this, and he's been doing this for years. Very smart. Please go subscribe to this guy. When it comes to your life, you don't need entertainment. You need somebody that knows what they're talking about. And if his thumbnails look familiar, that's because this man has always been copied, guys, by bigger channels. He's always done his thumbnails like this every single time. Now you see other people doing their thumbnails the very same way he's always been doing his. Does it look familiar to you? If you want to go to the guy that is the guy, he's the one. He's so good at what it does. If you are not completely satisfied with how he reads tornadoes and severe weather, I will delete my channel. He's that good. Now for today, you have rain and thunderstorms and all this green. You will have heavy flash flooding, which I will show you. We will be having in the northeast. You have mixed precipitation, all the blue and severe thunderstorms and all this striped yellow. This is for today. For tomorrow, you're going to have the mixed precipitation in this blue. Severe thunderstorms starting right here and it is going to move to the southeast. Plus you have all this heavy rainfall and flash flooding expected and all this red. And as you go through Wednesday, then you have it starting all over again. You have the mixed precipitation in the northwest, and you have the severe storms moving to the south. And this will continue to go to the southeast for Thursday. Now, as you look towards your vorticity, there's the 850 millibar level, so you can see it. This is your system forming up off the east coast today, and it will be traveling up towards the northeast while you have this surface low in the Ohio Valley and meeting up with it. And if you see here, you get double vorticities, just like we saw the other day. Two surface lows fighting over the placement on whether it's going to form up right outside of Jersey or is it going to form up somewhere towards the New England states. And this is called shotgun. This is two surface lows that's fighting for the same energy. Now this is according to the GFS. As it goes, you'll see all the vorticity is going over Jersey as well as offshore. So it will be bringing a lot of damage and winds especially for Jersey, especially for, for the New England states, as this twirls back around and it just twirls for a little bit. It's going to be a 24-hour event, but then it will be going away. Now, for your thunderstorm outlook, as you go through this morning, you have a 40% chance of thunderstorms right here on western Florida. And as you go through noontime today, it's going to mild down. But as this system moves towards northeast, as you go into later tonight, now you got a 40% chance for Serious thunderstorms right here in this area, and you have chances for tornadoes as well. So for today, you have the marginal for severe weather, and you have your slight risk right here, but you do have a chance for tornadoes. You have a big 2% chance and a 5% chance for tornadoes for today. You do have some wind that's coming with it, and you do have some hail, but the tornadoes is going to be a big threat. And remember, Nate will be streaming this, so please go subscribe to the man. Here's your cities and states that is affected by the 2% and the 5% for the tornado threat for today. Now, as this system goes up towards the northeast, it will be bringing some damage and winds. And so far, the Euro shows that a lot of people is going to get a lot of 40 miles per hour damage and winds. But when you get towards the New England states, then it's going to towards the 50 where this purple is. And maybe even high 50s towards Boston, where yesterday it showed it definitely being a 60. So it did wild down a little bit. But when you go according to the GFS... It's a little more offshore. It's not going to wind up. The double shotguns, the Euro showing that it's going to take the vorticity that goes over Long Island pretty much. And the GFS shows it's going to take the one that's going into the Atlantic, which is showing what National Hurricane Center is showing according to the GFS. But still, you see everybody, no matter what, is going to get widespread 40 to 50 miles per hour wind gusts. And there is a chance for 60 for the New England states, especially for Rhode Island and towards Boston. And the NAM 3K, which shows the next 60 hours, which is the next two and a half days, does confirm that it will be 50 miles per hour wind gusts and getting stronger as you get towards Rhode Island and towards Boston of the wind gusts. It will be a very big event. And not just the northeast. As you can see, you got 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts in this 
pink is 40s the purple is 50s and you have a line right here in the central u.s that's coming from the next system still bringing all that snow to the higher elevations this is the next 24 hours next two and a half days it starts adding up and this is going to carry to the south and the southeast now that's nam 3k when you go next three days with the euro the euro shows it just as well that you're going to get 40 and 50 miles per hour wind gusts in this region but it don't show it as much for the Ohio Valley. Now, as you go towards how much rainfall is going to accumulate out of this, for the next two and a half days, according to NAM 3K, this is your rainfall expected. It's not really heavy. But when you go to the Ural and check for the next three days, you can see it's a little more for Allentown, a little more for Newburgh, and Boston getting over four inches, with New York getting over four inches. But GFS isn't showing it's as heavy. It's more like it's going to be a southern New Jersey problem, maybe towards Boston, very light amounts. So it's very much contradicting how much your rainfall is going to be. Now, as you go into tomorrow, it's going to be a big, severe outbreak again. You have the marginal right here in this green. You have the yellow in the slight risk and the enhanced in all this area. And you are going to have some large hail and winds. Now, your tornado threat for tomorrow, this is your 2%, which I expect all this to go up. 5% right here. And I do expect this to go up, guys. I really do. Your wind is going to be a big wind event all the way from Texas all the way to Nebraska. And you have a 30% chance of very strong damaging winds in this red. And your hail in this black, you have a chance for significant hail in this black section. But for your tornadoes for tomorrow, here's your cities and your states for your 2% and your 5%. And remember, all these links are in the description so you can go click on them because this will be updating. This will grow. And then as all this shifts to the southeast, with this next big system that's going to just stir up down there for a while, you do have a marginal risk and a slight risk now for severe weather. And this is a big 15% chance all the way from Texas all the way to the western, southwestern edge of Alabama. But your cities and states for Wednesdays for the severe weather, here's your 5% and your 15%. Now, as you check the winds, what's going to happen for this event? This is your 500 millibar. You can see how you got your pressure system going to the northeast for what they're going to deal with the, with their nor'easter but the next setup is going to be a very deep trough and it is going to bring some strong winds and it's going to start off in texas for tomorrow then as it strengthens up you can see the very strong winds kicking in and it goes across texas across louisiana as you go into wednesday and it will carry over towards florida and the southeast all the way to south carolina and north carolina this is going to be a very big system that's just going to sit there and twirl and bring a lot of damage and winds. And when you look for Vorticity, as the nor'easter is finishing and moving to the northeast, as you get into tomorrow and going into Wednesday, you get a really big system with a deep trough going, and it gets really built up all the way from north, all the way to south. Look at this long line of thunderstorms that is going to accumulate. This is going to be a big, long line of thunderstorms. And this is going to wrap all the way around to the southeast and be a very huge system. This is going to bring severe weather. This is going to bring chances for tornadoes and damage and winds. But if you notice, it's very deep trough. So a lot of the winds will be in the ocean or in the Gulf of Mexico, but there's still a good chance for y'all to get them. And then after this big system brews up, it will carry over to the northeast, and there'll be a big system on the east coast. So this is really going to bring a lot more damage and winds and chances for tornadoes. It's still too far to say for sure, but as we look 10 days out, it looks like the Northeast could be dealing with another North Nor'easter, and this one could be bringing snowfall. This is all the way till November 5th, so take this with a grain of salt. It could do a higher ridge and go to the Midwest, maybe the Ohio Valley if the temperatures are there. But so far, a low pressure system builds up in the Northeast, and it's cold enough temperatures. You can see the cold temperatures in this blue line that is freezing temperatures, and it will be bringing a nor'easter that is actually bringing snow to the northeast and the New England states. So here's another shot of it. It comes up towards the northeast. It gets stronger. It gets all the way down to a 989, a 997. But with this pull, it will be bringing the warmer tropical moisture up with it. So some of y'all will be seeing rainfall. Some of y'all will get that snowfall, mostly intercoastal, but maybe it will push over a little bit and freeze everybody else. I know y'all want that snow. But for the first storm, if you look through the Euro, you still see the, the shotgun pattern of the two surface lows. But according to the Euro, it gets a little closer with the vorticity. The storm gets a lot closer. This brings more rainfall and more winds. 
So according to the Euro, it will group up closer than the GFS. But with this big system coming by, first the system in the Northeast, I showed you those wind gusts. But if you look at all this purple, all these purples are the high 50s. And this section right here really gets into the high 50s, especially that light part, almost 60. But you'll get high 50 miles per hour wind gusts coming all across the central U.S. from all this storm building up. It will go all the way to the southeast over Louisiana and Mississippi. Weaken down a little bit over the strength, and a lot of it will be over the Gulf with the 50 miles per hour wind gusts, almost 60 on the east coast. As it goes right back up the northeast on that high ridge, bringing y'all the 50 miles per hour wind gusts. So it will be a big event of damaging winds coming around this system as it twirls by it will be about 24 hours just as long as that nor'easter in the northeast about 24 hours but even though there's going to be a chance for severe weather damaging winds even tornadoes even hail it's not a lot of rainfall coming with it as you can see it's not a lot of rainfall that's according to the euro gfs is showing the same thing not a lot of rainfall but according to national weather service for your next two days this is your rainfall expected in the blue you got an inch all that green you see is less than an inch, probably a half an inch. And then when you get to the red, you get to the two and three inches. And then when you get to the orange, you're going to get anywhere from five to seven inches. And you're going to see that accumulate in the northeast. And when you get to three days, it starts adding up from that system going into the south and southeast. You get to five days, it does its full path to the southeast. And then the northeast, now you're starting to get some of that orange. And the full seven days, widespread, anywhere from five to seven inches in this orange and I had a lot of people ask me about the ships because of all the storms that's going on over there and them dealing with the 40 to 50 foot waves out there if you look at all these ships I turn this on so you can see all the cargo ships this is all the cargo ships that we have around our country waiting to be offloaded and it looks like a lot but when you go over towards China you can see really how busy they are they are really doing a lot more business than the US is. And even though we thought it was a lot, it's not a lot. They're getting all the business and our administration is really hurting our country guys. But there was a lot of ships in the Northwest that was dealing with 40 and 50 foot seas. Container ships were getting knocked off their ship and there was fires breaking out that was very toxic. Now these container ships, it was 40 of them that got lost. They contain something very toxic. The compound that, that is used for mining for the U.S. government, which can spontaneously combust. That's why they're having issues. Plus, it has compounds in it, which is toxic to marine life, guys. And you can see the picture here from the Coast Guard showing the container ships in the ocean. And you can see this everything spilling out of them. This has very combustible products that make it really catch fire. That's why they're having issues. But at the same time, it's toxic to marine life, guys. And the Coast Guard did say that the 40 container ships, it was due to rough seas. That's why they lost those. And they had to wait for the rough weather to pass. That way they can retrieve the cargo con containers that fell overboard. And a lot of these containers did catch fire because it has that combustible product in it, guys. So it was very dangerous. It was very toxic, not only to the air, but to the marine wildlife. So this is, was a very serious thing that was happening. But they did get on it when it was able to, and they did put the fires out, guys. So it's not burning no more. It has been under control. And you can see that here. This is them putting out the fires on the ships that had the problem. So they did put out those fires, just so you'll know. Now, this is an AM3K, so you can see everything I just showed you in motion. God bless every single one of you in this. Remember, these 50 miles per hour damaging winds will bring more power outages going on so be aware of that going on and off if you charge a laptop you can actually charge your phone from your laptop that's already charged so it'd be a good backup source so if this video has helped you the information that was in it please hit that like button show support for my channel thank you so much for all of you guys help and please go subscribe to nate for your severe weather for tonight and tomorrow and what's going to happen after that as well he is very good at what he does you will see Today I want to read Psalm 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. 
I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God. In Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with His feathers and under His wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation. There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life will I satisfy him and show him my salvation. Amen. Have a very happy Monday today, guys. God bless every single one of you. Thank you so much for all your support and all your help. Please go see Nate for your severe weather because you will be amazed at how good he is. He's just getting better and better, younger and younger. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> all power, all glory does go to Yahweh. God of Jacob. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Have a very, very blessed day today.